When you're starting your cloud journey, whether you're moving from an on-premise setup to the cloud, launching a startup, or deciding which cloud certifications to pursue, choosing the right cloud platform is the first key decision that you need to make. And there are a lot of options, but three giants stand out, AWS, Azure, and GCP. Although these cloud providers may seem interchangeable at first, each one has unique strengths and challenges that can significantly affect cloud costs, ease of use, and overall experience. When I started learning the cloud, I faced the same challenge. Which one do I learn first? Which one will give me better job opportunities? But also from a business perspective, which cloud platform should you pick and build your products on? Now, I've worked across client projects where we had to migrate applications to these cloud platforms. But firstly, for those who don't know me, hi, I'm Suleiman. I run my own cloud security business, helping startups build more securely on cloud platforms. Now, there are some emerging cloud platforms that you should know about, which we'll cover later on in this video. But to break down which cloud platform is right for you, I'm going to provide a quick overview of the three big players, AWS, Azure, and GCP. Their differences, core product offerings, their data center footprints, and also pricing as well as use cases. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more helping you get started in the cloud. The cloud computing market is booming and expected to reach a 2,432 billion market by 2030. AWS, Azure, and GCP are the three big players in this market. And collectively, they hold 64% of the total market share. When it comes to hosting a website or application, these three contenders are likely to be your top choices. Now, Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS, is the leader of the pack. Launched in 2006 by Amazon with 32% market share, it's the go-to choice for many businesses offering an extensive portfolio of services that cover various areas such as computing, storage, networking, databases, analytics, machine learning, and of course, artificial intelligence. Now, Microsoft Azure entered the cloud market in 2010, four years after AWS, and have grown to become the second largest cloud provider with a 23% market share. Azure shines in its compatibility with Windows and integration with Microsoft's suite of services, along with a broad spectrum of similar offerings to AWS. Now, Google Cloud Platform, GCP, is the youngest amongst the top three, with Google's foray into the cloud services beginning in 2011. GCP holds 10% of the market share and also has fewer data centers than its competitors. However, it's very well known for its DevOps-friendly solutions and robust selection of services similar to AWS and Azure. Now you'll notice that each one has its own strengths and unique offerings, despite their core capabilities. There are some differences in the services that they provide. This means that you can choose a service that suits your project-specific needs. Now we are also seeing a lot of multi-cloud strategies where businesses combine services from all of these platforms to avoid vendor lock-in. Here is a quick overview of the computing power and options of each of these cloud platforms, covering both core server and serverless services. Now for AWS, we have Amazon EC2, Elastic Compute Cloud, which provides a wide range of virtual private server options that include general purpose servers, memory intensive application servers, and GPU powered servers for heavy processing. Then for serverless compute, we have Amazon Lambda, which allows developers to run code without worrying about server management. Azure's virtual machines offer scalable computing services similar to AWS. You can choose from a variety of instance sizes that are optimized for different needs, such as more memory, more compute power, or even more storage. Azure's serverless computing service, Azure Functions, allows you to run event-driven functions without the burden of infrastructure management. And then we have GCP. Google's Compute Engine provides customizable virtual machine instances with both predefined and custom options. 
This means that you can select the exact specifications that you need for your project. Google Cloud Functions is Google's serverless solutions that allows developers to run event-driven functions without managing servers. Now, as you can see, all three providers offer basically the same compute options, but named slightly differently virtual servers and serverless functions. This is the case across many of their services. They basically all offer similar products and services, but just named slightly differently. It's almost like learning different programming languages. Now it's important to understand the data center infrastructure of AWS, Azure, and GCP when choosing between them. The location and performance of these data centers are significant for ensuring that your product or application runs efficiently and smoothly, especially in relation to where your users are located. So here is a simplified comparison of the data center locations and global reach of each cloud platform. Now, AWS has over 200 data centers located worldwide, including North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and South America. AWS has the highest number of data centers amongst the three giants. AWS also has significant presence in key areas like North Virginia, Oregon, and Frankfurt. This extensive network makes it possible to deploy resources near your users, resulting in reduced latency and improved overall performance. Now, Azure has also a broad network of data centers that are even more regionally diverse than those of AWS and GCP. Microsoft is also continuously expanding Azure's reach, with a strong presence in regions like North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. Azure benefits of Microsoft's global network's backbone which ensures fast data transfer and reduced latency. Now, GCP has strategically placed data centers worldwide, covering key regions such as North America, Europe, Asia, Australia, and South America. Even though it has fewer data centers than AWS and Azure, GCP has a high performance network infrastructure. Google's focus on network optimization ensures quick data transfers and low latency connections, making GCP an excellent choice for latency sensitive projects. Now to summarize, AWS has more data centers, Azure has the widest regional coverage, and GCP excels in high performance networking and low latency connections. Now, when you're selecting a cloud platform or cloud provider, data center location should be considered to ensure the best possible performance and accessibility for your users. Let's talk about pricing models. Now, when you're selecting a cloud provider, Pricing is a crucial factor that affects the budget for your cloud resources. AWS, Azure, and GCP all follow a pay-as-you-go approach, but the cost for computing power, storage, data transfer, and discounts differ between the providers. AWS gives you flexible costs, various computing instances, storage pricing based on data stored and accessed. Now also you have discounts available with upfront payments. Azure gives you a pay-as-you-go basis, reserve virtual machine instances for long-term savings, storage costs based on usage, discounts as well through the Azure hybrid benefit program. GCP also has a pay-as-you-go model, predefined and customizable machine types, storage pricing based on data stored and accessed, and of course, discounts through the committed use contracts. As you can see, the payment and pricing model is very, very similar across the three platforms. Okay, so what are their use cases as they all provide a wide range of services tailored to different business needs? AWS has global reach and scalability with their vast network of data centers which supports scalable solutions for any size project, making it ideal for businesses aiming for a wide international presence. Now, AWS also has a diverse service offering with a wide array of applications from web hosting to AI, analytics, and IoT, making it a great choice for businesses looking for a diverse service offering. Finally, AWS also has a mature ecosystem as they have a large and established user base and a very strong community. AWS is reliable and it provides a variety of tools for enterprises requiring reliability. Azure is the best match for organizations already using Microsoft products. It offers easy integration, supporting hybrid cloud setups and smooth transitions to the cloud. 
Azure provides a powerful hybrid options for extending the cloud without full migration, making it a good choice for companies with existing on-premise infrastructure. Azure also stands out for its commitment to security and compliance, making it ideal for sectors with data regulations. GCP has strong capabilities in data management and analytics. GCP is also well suited for organizations that rely heavily on big data and machine learning. GCP is also strong in Kubernetes as they have advanced platform for containerized applications. And finally, for networking performance, GCP has high speed global network, which is optimized for applications applications which demand for quick application response times and low latency. So AWS offers broad services and scalability for diverse projects. Azure integrates well with Microsoft products and emphasizes on security, whilst GCP shines in data analytics, Kubernetes and high performance networking. Choosing the right cloud provider depends on your specific project requirement, existing infrastructure and future growth plans. Before I explain which cloud platform is right for you, let's cover an emerging competitor, DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is a simple and developer-friendly cloud provider that offers essential cloud services. Their pricing model is straightforward and predictable making it appealing for budget restricting projects. The platform is easy to use, has extensive documentation and also a vibrant community. DigitalOcean has global presence of 15 data centers that offers high performance, low latency and meets data residency needs. It's a viable alternative for developers, startups and small businesses looking for accessible and cost effective cloud platform. In fact, DigitalOcean was the first cloud platform that I ever used many, many years ago. Anyway, which cloud platform should you pick for your business? The answer is very easy and straightforward. And the answer is no other than AWS. AWS is the best cloud platform for most people and businesses due to its global reach and scalability, along with their diverse range of services and mature ecosystem. They're also very cost effective and flexible and strong focus on security and compliance. AWS has over 200 services and also over 200 data centers, which offers the most comprehensive range of cloud services, a big ecosystem and network of partners, and also provides flexible pricing models that cater to a wide range of budgets. While Azure and GCP have, of course, their own strengths, AWS's overall offerings and market position make it an excellent starting point for most cloud computing needs. Now, I know Azure is expected to grow this year and really pushing AWS and taking some of its market share, but I see it as this. AWS is like Apple, Azure is like Samsung, and GCP is like Sony. Take that as you wish. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.